Good evening, everybody. Anna here. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today here, I'm going to show a pre-recorded video I'm doing to show the jewelry I picked up at the two local thrifts, my two favorite local thrift stores. I also have a gift from one of my subscribers. I'll show that as well. But if you're new here to my channel, um, I'm getting new people daily. So I'm, let me mention my name's Anna. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and viewing my video. Everybody, obviously, thank you. You know, my subscribers have been here as well. I appreciate you. Um, but I wanted to give some mentions of what goes on on my channel here. Every Monday, I have a live um, jewelry auction where I sell vintage costume jewelry names, um, you know, sterling silver, etc. I sell some modern as well. And that's every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. On Thursdays, I do a Thrifty Thursday. It's a pre-recorded video where I sell items at, at good prices, um, at low prices, much lower than what you'd expect to pay for them. And I think it's all beautiful jewelry. The jewelry I pick up, I like. That's why I pick it up. Um, I also do unboxing. Like, I buy jewelry bags either on Shop Goodwill or else I'll buy them in my store. And I do unboxings there in my thrift hauls here. Occasional educational videos as I learn. Nor really on the extent of me identifying years of jewelry. Um, I have a little over one year of experience of buying and reselling jewelry. And learn, I've learned a tremendous amount in that time. But that's enough about that. I guess I should start showing my jewelry. I just wanted to say welcome and thank you. And if you're viewing my video and you're not subscribed to me, um, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. If you would not mind, I'd appreciate it. Now let me get started. I'm excited about what I found here. I'm going to tell you about this. Look at this. Let's start with this. This is fantastic, I think. Okay. Let me move my lights. We have good lighting and under the spotlight. That's the spotlight. Big rose quartz balls. I don't know how to measure them. <laughs> They're big. This is fabulous. Let me take it off and show it to you. I'll put it back. I think it is sterling. It's a nice little, nice, uh, like hook clasp there. It's all sterling findings. Is there citrine on here? I believe that is citrine, the yellowish one's hair. Amethyst. In more rose quartz and pearls. This is, I think it's lovely. There's pearls on it. They are freshwater pearls. They're real. I think it's fantastic. I most likely will offer this at some time. If somebody likes it, this is something I'd probably bring to auction. I really like it. I may wear it. I think it's cool. And it feels great. I love the coolness of it. You know, the, it's really, a, you know what I mean? Like, cool temperature. I think it's nice, though. So. So I, the other last big quartz I found was all um, clearer than this, but this is a fabulous one, and it's got amethyst, citrine, um, pearls, and um, more rose quartz and white quartz as well, I believe, on it. It's the back. I'm not going to measure it or anything. I'm not selling it now, but this is something I will offer in the future at one of my auctions. Look at it. Okay. I think I showed that more than enough time. Let me see. Did I hold it still? I'm told I move a lot. I'm trying. I'm taking your comments and suggestions very seriously. I, I do take them very seriously. I do not get insulted. I want to be able to please people and give them something they want here on my channel. So there's that, and I think that's fantastic. There's a lot more. That's just what I have on here. These are testing as ruby. I have to take them to my jeweler and check it out. They go way up to Ruby. Those little stones in the middle. They're a well-made earring. Look. See how it's well-pronged in there? And this is sterling silver, I believe. I mean, it is. Not I believe. I did test it. Can't find any markings on it. I'll test it. But I need to take it to a jeweler and ask him about that. Um, if that is a Ruby. It's light. I know the rubies can be light. They're nice, so these are perfect for the new year, and I probably will offer these at some time. I want to confirm what the stone is before I sell it. Um, I'll go up. He's been coming in. Um, he's back. So, yeah, I have a jeweler list that works very close to where I live, his business, and I'm fortunate with that, I feel. But, yeah, I'll take them to him and test them out. But these are little martini glasses. 
Perfect for the new year. I'll bring them before, try to bring them before the new year. I might run up and see them tomorrow. Maybe I'll have them at auction on Monday. And if anybody likes them, they can grab them. They're a beautiful pair of earrings. Let me leave them sit there for a minute. I need to get, we'll use this so I don't have to move the camera up and down. Um, There, they look lovely, don't they? So I'll move it back up. There they are. It's like a pink martini. They're very nice earrings. I was happy to find this um, today. I found a lot. Um, so this is a vintage bracelet. These are two bracelets, three things here, but look, let me take that off. This one and my, the crown as well. Um, this is uh, gold filled and it's a vintage. Those are glass, but this is a vintage bracelet. It's a small one. It fits me. Um, I like that. This is something I'm most likely keeping for myself. I have a pin that matches it that's off, actually aquamarine, though, I believe. But I really like this one, so I probably will keep that for myself, at least for a while. It's pretty. Here's the back, if you want to see that. It's not marked Goldfield, but it is. And it is a fold over clasp, like I said. And I like this little bust, but it gets the, it's a velvet. I really like the way it's um small. So I think that's lovely. I like everything I pick up though, like I said, because that's why I buy it. Um, either that or if I know it's something somebody else collects, I pick it up as well. Um, these are glass crystals. I mean, they look more crystal -y, right? And it has a, um, a box clasp. I don't think this is sterling. I'd have to test it to make sure. It does look like it has some patina on that piece there. Um. But I, I don't know if they put silver on there. It, it breaks easier. It's very beautiful, I think. <clears throat> Somebody's calling me. I hope they don't hang me up. This is just casual talk. I am going to start editing videos again at some point. But when I open these, I, I think casual talk's fine with opening, showing jewelry. That's absolutely beautiful, I think. And it definitely shines like a crystal. This is a little crown. It is unmarked. You can see what it is, right? We have emerald colored stones and white. I sold a B. David like this not long ago. It had different colors on. This is an unmarked one. I think it's pretty. I already had it on there when I pulled it up. Let's see what it looks like on black. It's nice. That's something I either at auction or thrifty Thursday. I, I give I, I sell I think I sell nice items on thrifty Thursday. It all depends on what your taste is and what you're looking for. You know, at the time it's always different, but this is very lovely. She's pretty, I think. Look at her. I think that's like transferred onto there. And it looks like it says a PE or a PC. I don't know what that means. I don't know the brand if it is one, but there's little, like going around here, there's little rhinestones throughout, not real little, but like two, four, six, eight total. And there's one up in the rows. That's what it looks like in the back. It's made diagonal, deliberately. It's got a nice weight to it. It feels quality. I mean, it's an extremely high-end piece, but it's nice. And I, But if anybody knows what that is, it means, if you would let me know, I'd appreciate it. I think it's PE or PC, and it escapes me if I knew it. But see, I, I don't think it's painted, but she's very pretty. It's a pretty lady on there. Beautiful, actually. This is her male. 
or vermeil, if I'm pronouncing them. These are pearls. These are fresh water. Let me show this to you. Um, yeah, that doesn't help. All right, let me show. Um, it's a whole clasp. These are pearls. Are these like kind of like potato pearls, I think, is what they call those. And then there's these. That's a Malbay style. That's a real, those are all pearls as well, and so is the dangle. And then you have rhinestones. Um, these this this is like Christmas colors. I didn't test to make sure these were weren't anything better than rhinestones. I think I'm sorry. I'm looking at it for a minute. I'm trying not trying to pull it away. Somebody commented on me to pulling a jewelry away. And me looking at more than you are, and it's true. Um, I have done it in the past, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's very lovely. I'm going to double it up to show it. Well, I can't. It's short. Let me pick it up. Let me leave it here for a minute so you can see it. I'm dropping it. That little stand's not going to be it. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not perfect. That's nice. It's a nice necklace. There's a pair of earrings with it over here. That's the last thing I'd show. I'll pull out the earrings. Let me let me leave that lay there and I'll look for the earrings. I have this whole tray. Maybe my jewelry so nothing happens to it. And to save the occasion. I cleaned the desk off and I still feel like I don't have enough area. Um I do, it's just that it's I have this stand on the light on my desk right now. <clears throat> And there's a pair of earrings that go with them to show them with it. There they are. Look. It is the Mabe pearl. Style pearl. It's a real pearl, real fresh water, and then the dangle. And it has red and white stones, as you can see. Um, can you see that? It doesn't have the, like, greenish. That kind of looks like Christmas colors. But there are two of them. I need to put backings on them. They're pretty. I gotta test to make sure those aren't stones. I mean, it, it, it could be. I didn't test it yet. And if, when I bring it to, for sale, if I do, I will do that. I feel like the colors. All right. It's hard to see on the phone sometimes if what things are coming up as. Put this aside. I thought that was very nice. All right. I'm going to. I have this that I found as well today. It's Sterling Settings Coral. If anybody knows what kind this is called, is this called, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. Um, somebody is really loud and I'm, like, I don't know if you can hear that. I hope not. Like, not far from here and walking past or something but um yeah it's nice I'm gonna leave it there <laughs> it's set in sterling and I forget what they what it's called I looked it up briefly but um it's coral I am pretty certain of that it's definitely not glass I tested it I can't remember the kind of coral that they called it, but yeah, I found this set bracelet with, um, it has sterling findings on it and the necklace as well. And it has like Yep. That. A nice Joan Rivers bracelet. <laughs> My magnifying glass back here. This is a Joan Rivers panel bracelet. It looks like stained glass in there. Let me move that late a little bit. You see that? Like you can see through it. There are rhinestones set in it, like um, on the bottom part here. None in, in there, and then they're in the flowers, like that part. But it looks like stained glass, you can see through it. It's a nice Joan Rivers panel bracelet. 
I, I'm gonna research or something. I've never. This is my first like type of bracelet like this. Finding it, but I, I, I um, I think it's pretty nice. All right. For some reason, I can't close it. There you go. Joan Rivers panel bracelet has flowers. I think I'm holding it upside down. Sometimes it's hard looking through the phone for me. That's what I'm doing when I'm filming. Um, looking at my phone camera on this side. It's pretty. Looks like stained glass. I think it's an enamel. It's not glass, but it's like clear. And it's a nice bracelet. It has the same pattern repeating going around. And on the opposite side, let me show you the other side of it in case you want to look. It has Joan Rivers' signature right there. And it's in pristine condition. This is like a brand new bracelet. It's pretty nice. It's nice and sturdy too. There's that. Found a nice ring. I think it's nice. It's small, varying colors of mother of pearl. And it's like squared. Like it's a I don't know how big it is exactly. I'm not selling it now, so it's not really important to know. Um, but it's nice. It's sterling silver. It's marked 925 in there, and it's squared. I think that's pretty. Um, I found this one too, and I believe this is glass, and it bounced my way across there. Hold on a minute. Here it is. It's pretty though. It's a redstone prong. It is some marcasites. It's a little bent up. I'm going to straighten it up on the, um, I'll straighten it out a bit. There are marcasites around here, on here, as you can see. I need a better ring holder. I'm working on that. I'm going to order myself one. There's the back. It's a pretty ring. That's probably like a size six. It goes on my finger relatively easy and doesn't feel um uncomfortable when my fingers are swell swollen so often. I really can't get a five on any maybe a five and three quarters, but this this is a six. It's pretty. I have I found a pair of crowns for forty. I always pick up the crowns for forty. These ones, um Are faux pearls. As you can see, crown trafari. Call marks back there. These are post copyright crown trafari. They look like underneath the sea, like seaweed and pearls. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that, you know, like this. But I shall let them sit there for a minute. I look for the next time. Oh, I got a gift from a lovely subscriber. From Barbara. I'm not going to give her full name. But she sent me this. This is just a friend mail gift for me. No, not like not an exchange or anything. Very nice for her. Okay, those are Crown for 40s. I always got to pick up Crown for 40 when I see them. Whether it's one of, uh, a neat, you know, no matter. It's, it's good jewelry. The vintage jewelry. Crown for 40s all vintage. They no longer make it. There's a hair on there. Sorry, I had to get that off. Okay, so it's this. It's nice. I like it. There's the pearls. And she knows I like red. These are metal gold pieces. And there's a bracelet that goes with it. It's very pretty. I like it. I'll keep this. This is something I won't sell. This is a gift for me. And I keep my gifts. I don't sell them. I like it. I'll wear that. I like it. It feels um, it feels nice. Quality. Oh, he's adorable. This is to be added to my. I'm collecting Napier jewelry, and then I'm gonna go through a book when I have like thirty or fifty pieces. It's my. It's building up. So I'm. St I'm not selling it for the time being, but I will sell it. I know there's collectors out there. Um, this is a cat, <laughs> as you can see. That ball is clustered with rhinestones in there, and he has green rhinestone eyes and enamel collar. He's adorable. 
and it is a Napier. It's adorable. Filament still. I'm trying. No, kidding. Napier. Coffee rate. It's adorable. That one will stay in my collection for a short period of time until I, um, you know, until I get enough to do an evaluation in the book. I like to have more than one piece when I go and spend an afternoon in it. This is Nolan Miller, not Nolan Miller for, uh, it's just Nolan Miller. Um, it's nice. These are glass faux pearls and this screws shut and this cluster of rhinestones kind of looks like an, an egg. And it's a nice necklace. Look at the, they're not paling or anything. They're in great shape. And they are, do have a string in between. I'm going to hang it up on here and leave it set. So you can look at it. It's very pretty, huh? Very pretty Nolan Miller. They had two pairs and I almost wish I'd have bought the other pair and may go back tomorrow and buy it. They had a shorter pair that could go with it, but it wasn't matched as well. Like I had a set and I already sold it. Somebody asked me, they really loved it. Joan Rivers, like, um, a mint green, like jade look plastic, lucite, obviously, but fantastic. And they matched up perfectly two necklaces, but there's another Nolan Miller. They don't match up perfect, but it looks just like this, but it's shorter. I might go back and get it tomorrow. It's, I'm thinking I should have gotten it. But it's nice. There's that. There's a lot more. I'm taking my time so people can see what I have. Hopefully you see something that you think is nice. Lovely. These are a nice champagne color, um, color of pearls. You'd think they were real looking for, at them from far away. This is crystals and pearls. There's pink here. These um, are pinkish. And then the other ones are white, and it's pieces of crystal. And it's set. I didn't test that. It looks like sterling to me. I'll test it. It has that little hook, and it's pretty. I, I just told myself I'd stop buying the pearls because I have a lot like this type of pearl, and but I can't. Every time I see them, I keep buying them. It's hard for me not to buy them. But it's very lovely. Nice little, like, choker-sized one. Probably, like, 15 inches, that's my guess. Cloisonne bangle. I pick these up, too, when I see them. I had a collection that sold them extremely cheap just not long ago. I have an eight-year necklace I'm going to show next. It still has its tags on it. It feels like, like, it feels like a loose sight. It has to lose sight feeling. It has a tag on it, too. It's double strand. This one I'm going to keep with my little collection just for now. But there it is. I think it says patent pending on it because that's when the clip was first, you know, that clip was first made probably. But, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll look at it and see if I can't figure out how old it is. Still has a tag on it. I guess I could use that as well. Maybe in here. That's what it looks like. It's a double strand white acrylic or loose sight. Kind of, it feels like loose sight all to me. Like that. It's nice. Right. This is this is not. I thought maybe I was hoping this was like um, just by looking at it quickly when I picked it up. I move fast in the thrift store sometimes. It's a necklace. I was hoping it was amethyst, but it's glass. It's nice though. I mean, sometimes, you know, I find the amethyst. Um, I picked it up very quickly, but there it is. This is like a 20 inch necklace. It's a nice one though. It's got little glass seed beads in between the larger faceted um, glass beads. It's pretty. Got a lot of bracelets here. I like going through all the necklaces first, it seems like, but here. That's pretty. Um, I'll show this one. This is Premier Design. It's glass. It has potato pearls on it. And um, this isn't rose quartz, I don't believe, or carnelian. I think it's just glass pieces. But these are potato pearls, and that's a blister pearl. 
and it's premier design it's long it does have a clasp i'll show it doubled up it has these are glass rings i didn't test any of it sometimes they do have real uh, pieces on their jewelry as well just like on chico's they will occasionally but that is um it's nice i think it's nice it's long it's probably about 50 inches i have it doubled up the potato pearls the blisters and i think these are all glass but i will test them to make sure can't pass up the long necklaces i never can i try it's very hard for me to pass them up <laughs> when i see them i buy them um i fear somebody will like it um at some point and i got it for a great price so this is a Swarovski crystal. This is nice. And I believe this is Starline. I didn't test it, but it looks like and it's marked. So um, there, little crystal pieces. It has a heart up at the lock and multicolored crystals all over it. Swarovski crystals. It's lovely. I like the little purple heart. Look like right here. It's a pretty little bracelet. It's, it's hiding hiding all the colors on the uh, black, actually. I need one of these in a different color and not velvet, so it doesn't look hairy. Very lovely. And that looks like Swarovski's crystals to me. Um, I found some other pearl pendants and set in sterling. This one, I I got this because I figured, why not? It's marked 925, and it is mother of pearl and sterling silver. It's pretty. This one, this has a nice glow to it. And there was another one in a bag with it. Um, it's just a slit. This is sterling up here. Lady actually gave me this. When I go in now, I have people that work there hand me things. They kind of know what I want. But this is another pearl slither. Just a slither. And that's a sterling findings up there. I, I mainly wanted this one, um, the other one, but they're both nice. I mean, this is um, polished turquoise and I believe it's carnelian and sterling findings on it. This test is not being glass, that piece there. It's carnelian, I think. There's a little heart tag hanging off of it. Um, it's nice. Nice little bracelet. I have some more pins and a number of bracelets here. It looks like bracelet day. But I thought that was nice. It has... Okay, let me get that down. This one is potato pearls. Um, these aren't sterling findings, at least I don't believe so. I tested to make sure again. I'm looking at it quickly. I didn't think it was. But it's potato pearls. With, those are red rhinestones in there. And it has a heart for lock and a box clasp on it. But there's that. It's pretty. It's a nice bracelet. There were a lot of bracelets today. Just gonna leave it hang there for a minute and, and look for the next one. Oh, if I'm an opal in sterling, um, have to I'll take it to the jeweler to confirm it's opal. I'm gonna do that with all of the opal that I have. I found like somebody must have had a small collection of it. I've been binding it. I have another necklace and I had a pair of earrings that I still hold on to, and I have two opal rings. Um, but I have to have them confirmed by the jeweler. I, I'm not an expert. I know they're different texture than um, glass, uh, and I just want to make sure though. That's pretty. Good. This is the one here. It has a nice uh, lock clasp on it here. You own know, the safeties, and there's the opals. I got to take them, like I said, up to my jeweler. I'm going to collect them all up. There's probably, probably like six pieces that I want them to look at. And confirm for me. 
take the coral too. Anybody knows about that coral, let me know. I forget exactly what it was called. It's not worth as much as I was hoping, I don't think, but I don't know. I still need to figure out what kind it is or whatever. But this is really pretty. Yeah, I can't sew it until I know. I've had, I sewed it in, in a lizard I had. I confirmed that. And, um, yeah, that was Gilson, Gilson Opal, I believe. So, yeah, that's what it's called that I had inside of my lizard that I sold. But, yeah, that's pretty. Um, whoops, I struck my earring shower. My earring shower. <laughs> that's my name for it. All right, another nice bracelet. Um, look. I thought this heart opened. It looks like it should. Everything makes it look like it should, but then they have it like, and it may, but the way it's on here, it's not. I don't know, maybe I'll play around if I don't want to break it. Maybe it opens this way. Um, I'll figure it out later, but it's a nice heavy bracelet. Um, says something back here, seven, 10, five, nine. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Seven, ten, five, nine, eight, four, eight plus four or something. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Does so anybody know what that means? I don't know. Okay. It's it's a nice chain. Um, has some pieces on it. Nice little musical notes. And here's the heart. It's pretty. And those are the markings. It says nine two five behind on these. I, I need to test it more thorough um, to confirm if it is or is not. But that's a, I believe it's a piece of glass in her. I'll even check that. Um, obviously, it's very pretty, though. And you'll know, because I always mostly, I bring most of my jewelry back for sale. People watch me know that. I don't, I don't keep a whole lot. I do keep some. A very pretty bracelet, though, that needs further testing. This one's costume. It's nice, though. Purely, that's a mobby, like a pearl that is, it's plastic, it's faux, and that's a piece of glass. Very nice, though. Pink glass, green glass. Looks like stone, kind of. It opens with a magnet, which is cool. That looks like an anchor. Closes up nicely. It's a nice neck bracelet, not necklace. Oh, look. So I picked it up. I figured um, it's easy to get off and on, and somebody might like that. That's, that one's shaped like a heart. Let's see. And we have different shapes all around. It's pretty. I don't see any markings on it. I will investigate it closer to make sure. This one's really heavy. I, I'm pretty certain I showed that more than long enough. Um, not guys, girls, ladies. It's a heart obviously. It's a heavy, I need to find homework on it, but I can't find one. It feels like it would be something good. Um, there's the heart. It's just a heart pendant and a chain, and it's very heavy. It has a toggle on it, and I could not find a homework anywhere on this, but it's well made. Um, it's pretty well made, and it's heavy. I mean, I say pretty well made because I see an opening there. I know jewelry has openings sometimes, but a lot of better pieces don't um, when they're put together. But this is still, these, it's nice. It's a fairly nice bracelet. That's why I picked it up. I figured somebody might like it. There's, you can even, you can see my reflection in that. All right. And a few other things here. Some, I got some brooches. Let me show those. There's rhinestones and enamel. There is no homework on this one. This is a more modern type of pin, um, but it's nice. Nice little pin, nice little brooch. Let's move the big heavy heart. That's heavy, it feels like a dog chain. I mean, it's nice, so it's, it's. I didn't see if it was magnetized. Let me see. No, I have to look into that diff a little bit better to see what it is, but this is cute. It's enamel, different colored flowers, of rhinestones in the center in a tiny little basket. Okay. Hopefully I'm not too close to the camera the whole time. <laughs> Somebody told me I'm always really close to the camera. Um, 
I, I'm trying. If I was too close that whole time, excuse me, at least you could see it right, but I should move it back. And I have had most things back on the box, so I should be fine. But I like to give you a close-up view of it. It's really cute and in a far away. It's a cute little basket. This is a C. Might give us to my daughter. It's not a fantastic pin or anything, but look. C is for crystal. Rhinestone C for my daughter, Crystal. Yeah, I have to give that to her. It's not anything real great, but she should like it. Um, yeah, it's not that fancy is what I mean. I'm not saying it's not great. It's pretty nice, actually. All right. Hey, I swear I just had one of these not long ago. It was Claiborne. Let's get them up close. Hello. It was Claiborne Giraffe. He has like a brown glittery enamel um, in there and he's gold tone. And he's in great shape. He has DLC marking right underneath his pin there. And it's cute. It's like a two inch pin. That lighting seems overbearing. There you can see his spots. Put my hand behind him. Little is Claiborne Giraffe. A strawberry. I had to ask my youngest daughter what she thought this was. <laughs> And she says a strawberry like I'm an idiot. Now, why did it look? It looks like a watermelon to me. More, not a watermelon. <laughs> oh, my God. If anybody gets this far, you think I'm a real idiot, right? It looked more like a pineapple to me. Okay, just the top of it. It reminded me of pineapple. But here it is close. Let's give you a real close view of that. Kind of looks like a pineapple to you. There's some marking. It has one of those things. I don't see any hallmarks on it. It's cool though, it's a nice pin. It's got a, it feels pretty decent, the weight to it. It's silver tone. This is a tiny little Liz Claiborne butterfly. Pretty, not that tiny, it's like an inch, inch and a half. Rhinestones there and enamel. It's cute. It's pretty, it's multicolored. This is just, I have to check this for sterling just to make sure it's not. But it is just a big wound up. It was in a bag with another pin that I wanted. Not to say that I wouldn't get it, but honestly, I, if I thought it was silver, I'd get it because it's got some weight. I don't know if it is. Um, it was in with another pin that I wanted, but there it is. It's a circle and it's tied, and this is like my Hobay bird was. It's those wires. I will test it for sterling to make sure it's not. Uh -huh. Oh, here's the, the little tiny chained opal necklace that I um, I have to have looked at too to make sure it is. It's Marcusite Sterling, and um, there's the it's a big bail on it for a small necklace, isn't it? There's the little opal. If pure earrings that match that like exactly. That I will take up to them as well. And there's two rings. There's other things. I have to go through my jewelry. I have to get organized a little bit better. I try to think I'm extremely organized, but I'm really not um, when it comes down to it. Very pretty, though, isn't it? Marcusite surrounding all around. And what I believe is an opal. But I will confirm it with my jeweler. Thin sterling chain. All right, let me put that down separate so it doesn't get tangled. There's this. I was expecting this to say um, for you or something. It has, looks, here appears to be like the rhodium, rhodium plating behind it. I don't see a hallmark as far as I could see, but it reminded me if it would be a Trafari type pin. I know a lot of theirs are in gold, but not all of them are. They had silver, um, silver to, you know, it's not their gold plating, but yeah, I don't see any hallmarks on it. Let's look closer. Really close. Let's look real close. <laughs> there, I'm, I'm doing it so you can see it as well. Is that better? Young lady that told me, <laughs> why do you move to jewelry? Which is fine. I do do it. I, I appreciate the honesty. And she was nice. But these are faux pearls, and um, that's silver tone. 
No mark as far as I could see. I would think it was a Trafari though, honestly. That or a Cora. They did have the, the faux pearls as well in the Cora. Um, what else? This is really cute. This is a um it's it's not a it's not a um a vintage vintage um item. I mean it does have that type of clasp, but you know, I gotta look at the other um details behind it as well. This is a very lightweight one though, but look, that's the back. I'm sorry. Look at look how cool. He's dancing. They're dancing. What are they? Let's see. I know that was close up. I was trying to see if I can get you a good view. It's a man and woman dancing. It's a pretty cool little pin, actually. And maybe it is vintage and I'm all wrong. I'll have to look into it better. <laughs> but I, it just, I don't know. It's so lightweight. Maybe the jewel. I don't know a lot about the really old jewelry, honestly. Okay, I'll look at that later. That's enough of that. Little butterfly unmarked, full enamel, nice weight to it though. It feels great. It's a, um, those are brownish, like a nice brownish color. And then orange on the top. It's very nice. It's realistic, honestly. I don't see any hallmarks on it, but it's got a good weight to it too. And it's made to look like a real butterfly, don't you think? There it is. These are in us thrift finds for today. I'm almost done. I have a couple Goodwill lots coming in. Small ones. I've been buying a small. Not the real big. Um, I, I thought this was adorable too. But they're coming in and I will be showing them and offering them. One is stones and one's amber. Um, I haven't gotten any other bags. I might pick up a bag tomorrow if the jewelry lady has one out by my house. I called her jewelry lady. Um, there. But I have Thirsty Thursday tomorrow and I'll be putting some jewelry together. I have a couple necklace sets. One that's a stone, like agate and um and jade agate or something. And um and I have glass. I'm gonna put sets together and I'm gonna offer them relatively, you know, at a really good price that maybe somebody can't turn down. A cuckoo clock. Again, it's a this is definitely um modern but it's it's cool and it's cute. So I had to have it. I got the lady these two are in the same bag. I picked them up. These, honestly, they look like they're from Holland or something. I have to look into them a little bit. <laughs> they're very late, though. And then there's this. And it's, this is pretty. This has faux pearls and real pearls on it. And it, but it looks dyed to me, you know, all the way around. Um, it's pretty, though. And it's missing a, a piece off the center. So I have a puffy heart. I might hang office or something. I, I might hang something off of that. See how it has... I think it's sterling findings. I have to test it to make sure. But it's either cut that off or hang something off of it. I'm going to hang something off of it. So, um, hold on. This looks... Wait, oh, well, it's the size of the neck that I have here. So, I'll put it, prop it up. Let me show it to you. It's the last thing. No, I have two more things. I have two seed bead necklaces I picked up. But there it is. It's a cute little clasp. It's a hook, a J hook. It has the heart on that end. And it has these nice little caps on it up top. And then these are, they're, these little ones, these are real and these are pearl chips. But it has, there's faux mixed in with it. At least I think it's faux. I'll have to make sure of that. But see this piece here, like something was hanging off of the shorter piece? Um, I'm, I may hang something off of that. There's, all right, I'm not doing a good job presenting this. I'm, I'm getting tired. Uh, it's hard. See, that's what it looks like. It's not fully formed. It needs fixed anyway, so. And it has a pair of earrings with it. Dangles, they come with it. Then I found these. These are marked India, and I believe these are strictly, these are seed bead, but I thought they were cool. Why not? All I need is a white pair. Okay, look. Look at this. Red. And you can twist them, and they look good twisted. Red. And I have blue. Now I need a pair of white. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. I probably have white. I thought they were nice. Um, I got them at a really good price, and they're very pretty. They're seed beads, like 20 strands, and... Marked India Co. & Co., I think. 
I'd have to look up to see exactly. But it's it's not a bad little, not a bad necklace for what I paid for it. It's pretty nice. They're not bad either way. I think they're pretty. I like the seed bead. I've sold a lot of so beautiful ones. Um, I probably sell these too. Twist. They can you can twist them. They look great. I don't know if you can wear them together. You probably could because there's an extender on the one. And I don't know, maybe this is too much, but around the 4th of July, if I include a white set, I'll be on the ice lookout for it. And I could sell it to somebody that's patriotic, maybe, or something, either here or online. But you can can do a red, white, and blue type of thing, like have the white, the red up higher, because you can move them, because there's an extender, have the white in between, and then the blue, and there you go. 4th of July, perfect, huh? I think it is. <laughs> but that's all I have for today, which, oh, one more thing. I bought myself a fancy cup, ladies. Look at that, gents. <laughs> Isn't it cool? It's going to be my water drinking cup. You know why? I don't want to spill it. I've knocked cups over when I'm, like, moving around quickly when I'm doing something at my desk. And this is perfect. It has a lid and will not spill. And I think it's fabulous because it's sparkly and pretty and it's red. All right, that's it for tonight. Um, I will be releasing my Thrifty Thursday video tomorrow. I'm going to start picking some jewelry out tonight, and I'll get it together. I will talk to you later. Um, have a good evening. If you didn't give me a thumbs up and you like it, or me, the video, or you like me, because that's possible, <laughs> give me a thumbs up, and I will see you again another day, another time. Thank you.